Hello and welcome to the course of Company Network Part 2 and uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, one of the routing protocol used in internet and uh, we will start with some intra-domain routing protocols which are used inside the uh, autonomous system to provide uh, routing to various uh, uh, routers present in that autonomous system. And let me let me give you a brief idea of autonomous system once again that uh, it's a collection of routers uh, under the same administrative and technical support and uh, autonomous systems are created because of providing uh, proper control over the system so uh, these are uh, some of the um, intra-domain routing protocols used in internet uh, most common are uh, RIPT OSPF uh, RIPT stands for routing information protocol uh, which uses distance vector algorithm and the other one is uh, OSPF which stands for open shortest path first which uses uh, link state algorithm Last but uh, not the least, IGRP, Interior Gateway uh, Routing Protocol. It's a Cisco property and uh, used worldwide. Okay, so let's let's discuss uh, one of the most common protocol used in internet for providing routing. That is uh, Routing Information Protocol. So, uh, Routing Information Protocol included in BSD Unix distribution. Uh, BSD is uh, Berkeley software distribution uh, and uh, distributed in 1982 in uh, Unix operating system and uh, it as I told you earlier as well that this particular routing protocol uses distance vector algorithm which we have already discussed in our uh, last lectures and uh, specifically uh, this RIP protocol uh, uses only uh, 15 hopes that uh, it means that um, this particular uh, routing protocol is not used in a big autonomous system which has uh, more than 15 hopes so 16 hope would be counted as a as an infinity so it can be used inside autonomous system where we have uh, maximum 15 hopes and uh, uh, in this particular uh, protocol, each link has a cost of 1 and um, as we have already discussed the distance vector protocol uh, that in this particular protocol, it's, it's an intra-domain routing protocol and uh, it's, it's not a global routing protocol, it's, it's a decentralized routing protocol. So in, in a decentralized routing protocol, um, nodes in an autonomous system exchange uh, their information with the neighbors only not with the whole autonomous system which means that nodes uh, don't broadcast their information in an autonomous system they only share their information with their neighbors only so in the same way distance vector um, exchange with uh, distance vector means um, the personal information of a node and personal information of a node is nothing but uh, node nodes uh, directly connected uh, nodes uh, because uh, all the nodes present in an autonomous system know uh, where they are directly connected so uh, distance vector means nodes personal information and personal information means uh, that particular node is uh, directly connected with uh, other nodes and that information uh, has that particular node so distance vector uh, is exchanged with the neighbors um, in every 30 seconds in response message and that is also called the advertisement each advertisement lists up to 25 destination uh, subnets in a IP addressing sense here what you, what you see is a small uh, autonomous system which has got four routers in it and uh, uh, this type of uh, information is uh, created by a node inside the autonomous system the 
first uh, column is uh, the uh, submits uh, where you have to reach and these are the number of hopes uh, as I told you that RIP uh, uses uh, cost 1 for a, for a particular link each link has a cost 1 that means A to B is the cost from A to B would be 1 from B to D would be 1, D to C would be 1 and C to A would be 1. It's a very common and simple thing in uh, routing information protocol and uh, uh, as you can see this particular uh, table is designed for router A from router A to destination subnets and these are the destination subnets which you can see over here uh, you uh, from A to destination subnets from A to destination that means U, V, W, X, Y and Z, U, V, W, X, Y and Z. So from A to U uh, would be one uh, cost, A to uh, V uh, would be uh, cost one and A to W it is here so it would be one and two, uh, A to uh, X, uh, X it would be 1, 2 and 3, 1, 2 and 3, uh, A to uh, Y, again it would be 1, 2, 3 or uh, from this way 1, 2 and 3, so you can see uh, 3 is written over here and in the same way for Z it would be the minimum possible is 1 and 2, so you can see. So uh, this type of routing table you will get in the uh, routing information protocol but uh, it would be in, in, in uh, destinations are uh, present in RIP routing information uh, table in the form of IP addresses instead of this, this demo table which you can see on your screen. RIP it is one of the example of RIP protocol. You can see a simple network which has got A, uh, B, C, D, uh, these three, five routers over here. And uh, this particular table is for um, router D. And uh, these are the destinations of router D uh, W, Y, Z, and X. So initially router D has got this information, this column says next router, the first column says destination subnets, I hope you all are clear with destination subnets. The next column is next router, uh, next router uh, means uh, if D wants to reach to W then the next router for uh, D would be A. It's an extra column in routing information protocol which is used for uh, data forwarding. As we have already discussed at the network layer, that network layer has got two main tasks, uh, routing and data forwarding. So, um, as we have already discussed that data forwarding means uh, placing the packet from input port to the output port of a router with the help of routing table which is designed with the help of routing um, algorithms or routing protocols uh, is, is called is actually uh, the process of data forwarding placing your uh, uh, packet from the input port to the output port with the help of routing table is the process of uh, data forwarding and uh, this, this particular uh, column is used for forwarding data that means if D has to reach to W then D has to place its uh, data to the link which is connected with A. As you can see if you have to uh, uh, send the data from D to W then uh, D has to place its data to the link which is directly connected with A. So D has to place its link, uh, its its packet over here which will take uh, this particular packet to uh, router A and router A will send that particular information to destination subnet W. So it's like that. So uh, I hope you are clear with the next uh, uh, router column uh, which is all about the 
next router uh, from the source uh, to the destination and the third column is hopes to destination and uh, these hopes are uh, the number of uh, routers uh, you will cross this is the distance actually but as uh, uh, in the last slide we discussed that that in routing information protocol distance is always one or I say the cost between two nodes from reaching from one to the other node is always one so it means you have to cross two hopes uh, to reach to W via A and uh, from D to Y via B you have to cross two hopes in the same way for B it would be 7 and in the same way for uh, X it would be 1 but next router is not mentioned over here because it might not be directly connected with the uh, source or there's no uh, way so far so uh, I hope you understand this particular table now this this D is got this particular table and when A shares its personal information with D then you can see that uh, after sharing this information with D, D will recalculate its personal information after uh, getting the information from node A. So you can see over here that uh, A has got this, this information which says that uh, A to sorry a to z via c a this this particular table is for a so a to z via c the next hope it uh, takes only four hopes so d recalculates its information and uh, initially d was going to z from b and it takes seven hopes d to z via b seven hopes but when a shares its information with d uh, d finds that from a to z it takes only four node uh, four hopes and from d to a it, it has one so uh, it means that from uh, d to z it will take only five hopes so you can see over here that now the next hope for the destination z is changed from b to a and cost has been reduced by two costs initially it was seven now it is five so uh, just uh, let me give you the brief idea about this thing once again initially d has this information As you all know that in routing information protocol uh, all the nodes share the information in every 30 seconds so A shares its, its information with D then D recalculates its uh, routing table and found that D to Z initially it was uh, with 7 cost uh, via uh, B but when D uh, saw the routing table that A to Z via C is with 4 cost then it recalculates its information and adds uh, 1 cost from D to A so it will make it 5 and next router now would be instead of B it would be A so now it is going via A to Z because A is got a path to Z with the cost 4 via C so it will take this way and um, number of hopes are uh, reduced by uh, 2 and now the cost is 5 so in, uh, in uh, distance vector algorithm nodes um, 
keep on sharing the information until uh, there's uh, there's no change in their routing table they will keep on sharing the information so as you see that uh, there's a change in these uh, routing table now D has to share this particular information with their neighbors and their neighbors might find the way to Z with the uh, shorter cost so that is how RIP works it is completely based on uh, your uh, distance vector uh, uh, routing uh, algorithm which we have already discussed but there are some uh, uh, limitations as you can see that autonomous system must have only 15 hopes 16th hope would be considered as uh, infinity in rip version 1 there are uh, um, upgraded versions of rip where you can use uh, uh, RIP uh, protocol for uh, more number of uh, nodes uh, so uh, that is how it works I hope you understand this now if uh, link failure happens in RIP then uh, what happens if no advertisement heard after 180 seconds neighbor uh, is considered as dead and uh, uh, what happens then routes via neighbors invalidated nodes will change their routes to the destinations through other nodes because they consider that particular node as a dead node if they do not heard any information uh, till 180 seconds and uh, new advertisement sent to neighbors when they recalculate their uh, uh, routing table uh, through any other node to the destinations then they have to send that particular information that change routing table with their neighbors so neighbors in turn send out new advertisements if uh, table changes and uh, that link failure information is uh, quickly uh, propagated to the entire network um, to 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 save the complete uh, working to save the uh, complete infrastructure you need to uh, inform about that dead node to the other nodes present in the autonomous system poison uh, reverse used to prevent ping pong loops uh, if if uh, there is a possibility of 16th node so uh, that is how your uh, rip protocol uh, works uh, it's it's a very simple routing protocol used in internet a very basic and common protocol used in internet for small autonomous systems um, I'm, I'm talking about rip version 1 and uh, it is completely based on uh, your distance vector which we have already discussed and this, this uh, distance vector is a intra domain routing protocol which is used for providing routing to all the nodes residing inside the autonomous system so uh, and as you all know that it's it's again a decentralized routing uh, algorithm uh, which uh, shares uh, in in that decentralized uh, concept nodes shares um, share their personal information with the neighbors only they do not broadcast the information in the autonomous system unlike your link state routing algorithm so uh, I hope you are clear uh, with the uh, routing information protocol in the next uh, lecture we will see how OSPF works uh, which stands for open uh, shortest path first uh, protocol and that particular uh, protocol uses link state routing algorithm as a base algorithm and in, in that particular algorithm there's, there's no restriction of number of hopes that means uh, that particular uh, routing protocol can be used for big autonomous systems that so that we'll see in our next lecture. Thank you very much.